buyer beware. That grocery item you have in your cart may not be what you think it is. In fact, it might even be the death of you. In this video, we'll be listing down all the grocery food frauds that you may encounter on a grocery trip, and some of them you may even have in your cupboard right now. Keep watching till the end so we can tell you all about how to spot these food frauds, starting with fish. Now, this is a revelation that'll have you screaming, oh my god! That's right, something fishy is going on with grocery fish. It's not an uncommon practice for grocery stores to mislabel their fish for a similar but more expensive fish to turn a huge profit. And these grocery stores can do this all they want, because really, uh, who can tell the difference once they're skinned and packed? In Germany, multiple shipments of king scallops even had to be taken to a lab to test their authenticity. The result? Only 43% of them were authentic. As it turns out, a large part of the king scallops were actually the much cheaper Japanese variant. That's a little shellfish, isn't it? While we can't really become fish experts overnight, there are still ways to avoid being scammed by subpar seafood. Firstly, choose from brands that you know and trust from groceries that you know serves the freshest seafood. Getting your fish fresh from a fishmonger will always be the best and most trustworthy choice. Wagyu Beef If beef ever had a royal family, it would undoubtedly be all Wagyu beef. Wagyu, or Japanese cattle, is a collection of four different cattle breeds that are strictly bred all over Japan. Following strict dietary and living conditions, these Wagyu cattle are melt-in-your-mouth delicious. Guaranteed amazing fat marbling in each cut of meat, it's like you're eating what is basically beef-flavored gelatin. But there is a chance that the Wagyu you've tried before might not actually be Wagyu. Usually, Japanese Wagyu undergoes strict testing before being certified as Wagyu, but that isn't the case for most other countries. Instead of being a metric of quality as it is in Japan, it's more of a marketing buzzword for other countries. Simply slap on the word Wagyu on any beefy product, and you you can hike up the price. The best way to avoid Wagyu fraud is to ask for Wagyu certification whenever possible. Any trustworthy restaurant or grocery would have their certification ready, and if not, then it might be best to go for the regular cuts. Parmesan cheese. Cheese Louise! I can't believe we're faking cheese! The next time you find yourself in a grocery store, think twice about grabbing that inexpensive Parmesan shaker, because you might actually be grabbing wood shavings. That's exactly what food experts found when testing one of America's many Parmesan cheese brands. Along with a higher amount of cellulose fillers, some cheddar cheese shavings, and no Parmesan at all. And although wood shavings were only found in a single brand of Parmesan, other brands are just as guilty of using filters. Most American brands of Parmesan cheese actually contain a filler called cellulose, a type of fiber found on plants that are fully edible and allowable at certain amounts. But sadly, some well-known cheese brands contain an obscenely high amount of cellulose, way above the allowable amount. The best way to avoid getting this chameleon cheese is to just grate the Parmesan yourself. Blocks of cheese don't last as long in the fridge, but we guarantee that those blocks won't have wood shavings in them. Orange juice It's hard not to hate on orange juice when it's so refreshingly sweet, but what if we told you that the boxed orange juice you got from the grocery the other day might not actually be orange at all? Big orange juice box brands all over the world undergo the same process. It all starts with natural, freshly squeezed orange juice, because where else can orange juice come from, right? The orange juice then undergoes deoxygenation, where the oxygen laced into orange juice is separated, ensuring a longer shelf life. Don't get us wrong, a longer shelf life is a good thing, but it's not just oxygen that gets removed, it's also all the orange flavor. So now companies are left with no other choice but to reflavor this orange juice with an obscene amount of artificial orange flavor, just so you're not left with what is basically orange water. The best way to avoid all the artificial flavors and colors of big orange juice box companies? Juice your own oranges. They're fresher, and they taste better. Now, 
orange you glad you watched this video? Saffron. Saffron is heralded as one of the most expensive ingredients in the world. Adding another layer of flavor and color to every dish, this highly sought after spice comes from the stigma and styles of the rare crocus flower. Each strand of saffron is delicately harvested by hand because any other industrialized method would break the flowers. But not everyone wants to go through the hassle of harvesting saffron. Indeed, there are some food brands that package twirled and dyed corn husks slap the saffron label on the package, and call it a day. Of course, this means a more affordable price tag, but are you really going to depend on corn husks for your paella? So now, how do we avoid fraudulent saffron? One of the red flags to avoid when shopping for saffron is powdered saffron, because those are more likely to include fillers and artificial dyes. And the most obvious tip of all, please make sure that you're buying your saffron from a reputable and trustworthy brand. Milk. Got milk? Well, it turns out you may not. An American producer called Perfect Day Foods has recently started creating and selling artificial milk. And no, we don't mean oat milk, almond milk, or any of the other plant substitute meals. Instead, this milk contains all the whey and proteins of milk, but without the cow. While this food fraud isn't as life-threatening as the others in this video so far, it still doesn't hurt to know where your money is going. Supporting synthetic milk means taking away profits from hardworking livestock farmers, and that means most whole milk brands might see synthetic milk as a more cost-effective alternative. The best way to avoid buying synthetic milk is to carefully check the label and ingredients of your milk brand making sure that the brand itself is trustworthy. It never hurts to check. Honey There has been a lot of buzz over counterfeit honey in the past years, and the concern is well-deserved. Every grocery store is lined with a handful of honey brands that label themselves as honey, but are, in reality, just high-fructose corn syrup made to look like honey. And although this may seem harmless at first, the effects were largely felt by beekeepers and also the bees themselves. Things got so bad that the government stepped in to set strict regulations on what can be labeled as honey. But the synthetic honey soon adapted, changing their formula to be almost identical to honey. If you want to continue supporting the bees by avoiding synthetic honey, make sure to get your honey from a reputable source and double check the list of ingredients used. Olive oil. And sitting atop the fraud food pyramid is olive oil. Considered to be the most common counterfeit food item in groceries, it's estimated that close to 70% of the olive oil around the world might actually be fake. That's because most olive oil brands in the market right now, while claiming to be pure extra virgin olive oil, are actually diluted with a much cheaper neutral oil such as sunflower or canola. And not only that, but it's also believed that most olive oil brands are selling Selling you olive oil that has gone bad during the pressing process. What's worse is that you may not even notice because pure olive oil is so hard to come by. When tasting olive oil, it should have a depth of flavor to it that you'll just have to try for yourself. If your olive oil is bland or bitter, then that most likely means that your olive oil might be rotten. The next time you're out shopping for olive oil, take the time to double check the ingredient list for any oil fillers. And and buy olive oil from reputable brands that actually taste like olive oil, because nothing ever really beats the real thing. So that's our list of food frauds. It's important to note that counterfeit food can be easily avoided if you take your time to do your research. And this video is the first step towards that. Have any more fraudulent food stories? Sound off in the comments below.